Hello from lockdown in Rotorua. I am Helena and I'm the retreat day spa manager from the Polynesian Spa. So sitting here in lockdown, I've spent a little bit of time or a lot of time thinking about how much I miss those soaking in those beautiful hot pools and also enjoying all our lovely treatments and retreats that we offer at work. So I was wanting to provide perhaps a few little tips that I use for myself while in lockdown to help support my own well-being and that's both mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually. So one of the things that I want to share with you today, just a, a, a short reading actually, from a beautiful little magazine called Breathe. Hopefully this is one of the ones that it still remains in publication once we get out of lockdown. And um, I know I have seen it for sale in some of the bookstores, so we can um, rush off to the bookstores and see if we can get this. It's got some beautiful readings and um, great articles on well-being. But this one is actually called Hermitage in the Wind, and it's actually quite appropriate in the content. It's a very short story um, or parable, I guess, written by Thich Nhat Hanh, who is a Buddhist monk. And uh, so I'm just going to read it to you. About 30 years ago, I was enjoying a solo retreat in the Hermitage at our sweet potato community in northern France in a forest called La Forêt d'Euth. I liked sitting and walking in the woods. One very beautiful morning, I decided to spend the whole day in the woods. So I brought along a bowl of rice, some sesame seeds, a bottle of water, and off I went. I planned to stay out the whole day, but around three in the afternoon, black clouds began to gather in the sky. Before leaving the hermitage that morning, I had opened the door and all the windows so the sunshine and fresh air could come in. But soon the wind began to blow hard and I knew I had to go back and take care of the hermitage. On arriving home, I found the hermitage in a terrible state of disarray. Strong gusts of wind had strewn the papers from my desk all over the place. It felt miserably cold and dark. The very first thing I did was to close the door and all the windows so the wind couldn't continue to wreak havoc. Then I made a fire in the fireplace. And as the fire started to come alive, I began to collect all the sheets of paper from the floor, gathered them on the table, placed a little brick on top and tried to make the hermitage tidy and in order. Soon the fire had made everything warm, pleasant and cosy. I sat down by the fire, toasted my fingers and enjoyed listening to the wind and rain outside. There are days when you feel it's just not your day and that everything is going wrong. The more you try, the worse the situation becomes. Everyone has days like that. That's when it's time to stop everything, go home and take refuge in yourself. The first thing to do is close the doors and windows. The eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body and mind are the six windows you close when everything feels like a mess. Our six senses are windows to the mind. Close everything in order to prevent the strong wind from blowing in and making you miserable. Shut the windows, shut the door and make a fire. Create a feeling of warmth, coziness and comfort by practicing mindful breathing. Rearrange everything, your feelings, your perceptions, your emotions. They're all scattered everywhere. It's a mess inside. Recognize and embrace each emotion. Collect them the way I collected all the sheets of paper that were scattered all over the hermitage. Practice mindfulness. And concentration and tidy up everything within yourself. This will help you restore your calm and peace. If we only rely on external conditions, we will get lost. We need a refuge we can always rely on and that is the island of self. Firmly established on our inner island, we're very safe.
We can take time to recover and restore ourselves and become stronger until we're ready to go out again and engage. Even if you are very young, you can find that island within yourself. Every time you suffer badly and nothing seems to be going right, stop everything and go to that island right away. Take refuge in your inner island for as long as you need. It may be 5, 10, 15 minutes or half an hour. You will feel stronger and much better within. I love that little parable because I think it it's, can apply to so many situations in our life. And certainly now in lockdown, it's a really good example where sometimes our mind and our emotions get scattered all over the place as we worry about what's happening in our lives at the moment. So now is the opportunity for you to take a moment, practice mindful breathing, shut the eyes, shut the ears, shut those doors and windows and turn within, even if it's just for a few minutes. So we'll be back from time to time with a few more tips. I've got some lovely aromatherapy ideas to share with you as well. But in the meantime, keep safe and be well.